I skipped over the second uh, Josh Gottenheimer anecdote, oh, yes. which is that he wore. Uh, okay, could, could you set the scene. Josh, Josh, shall we say, chose to go the extra mile in protecting himself when being in a room with a cons- potential constituents in Patterson, New Jersey. Yes, could, you, could you just yes. relay that story? Yeah. So um, Bill Pascrell is just like he, he's turning eighty. He's probably been in office almost all of his eighty years in New Jersey. Uh, and he invites Gottheimer as a freshman uh, to his 80th birthday party, which is going to be at Duffy's, which is kind of which is in Patterson, New Jersey, kind of a kind of a dive New Jersey dive bar. And uh, Gottheimer represents Northern New Jersey, like he's 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 up there with the insurance folks, the pharmaceutical hedge fund, private executive folks. He's he's not down in Patterson, New Jersey, but this is the dean of the New Jersey delegation. You can't say no; it's his 80th birthday. He, sh- he shows up uh, with a bodyguard and a bulletproof vest on underneath his shirt. <laughs> oh my god! And he's already kind of jacked. Like he works out. Like so like people like was, yeah, like yeah, uh, damn, Josh, you're looking pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> brolic today. What are you? What are you? You're hitting the gym, and it's like, oh no, like, no, this is just a level four ballistics plating I have on to go to the dive bar. Yeah, Josh yeah, Gottheimer he, has sort of like a a beefier Mikey Miles build. He's like yes, one yes. of those. He's he's very short, but he has one of those bodies like short legs and shit, where it's uh beneficial for dead lips and stuff very yes, jealous and he, of that. Put, he, he likes to put videos on social media of him of him doing like pull-ups and uh push-ups and stuff uh yes yeah, so, and so people immediately are like bro are you wearing a bulletproof vest and they're just like <laughs> they're just razzing him about it for a while and then eventually duffy who is like a freeholder so like this is like he's a ele- local elected official and it's the it's the congressman's birthday party. It's like not. It's probably not going to be that dangerous. But the the <laughs> never Duffy him, Duffy himself comes over and he's like, "Get out of my bar! Like you are an <laughs> asshole! Like, get, get out!" And so I I went to um, the the congressman whose birthday it was and asked him about it. And he and what I loved what I love about how people relate to Gottheimer is that he just t- told me the story on the record. He's like, "Yep, that happened." He's like, "But I told Terry, I was like." The guy's an idiot, but he's going to be an idiot whether you throw him out or not. What's it going to prove by throwing him out? Like, let's, let's just just leave him around here, and what? Who's you know, who's he going to hurt? Uh, and so they ended up letting letting Gottheimer stay at the at, at the eightieth birthday party. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I just you know you can never be too safe, you know. Yeah, that's true. You never, you never know. Yeah, what if he ended up being the only guy that survived the Duffy's shooting? Like, wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't we all look like idiots? <laughs> uh, uh, God, I wish you start wearing those suits that they give John Wick that are just regular suits, but they're bulletproof. You know, yeah. like uh, yeah, and that was all know, like, just his. That was just his beef. 